Okay, so I'm here today. I've got a, a wheel. Uh, I wanted to kind of show you how we take circular motion and uh, translate that into um, straight linear motion uh, using some basic concepts here. So I have this uh, piece of plywood cut out. It's roughly a circle. It's not a perfect circle, but we're going to measure this. And as we look at it, uh, it measures roughly about 12 and a quarter inches. So, so that's my diameter. So as 12 and a quarter inches are uh, 0.25 inches. Uh, we'll keep that in decimal format here. And now the circumference, again, is if I were standing out here at this point and I walked all the way around this, how much would I walk till I got back to the other side? That's our circumference. Uh, and our formula for some circumference here, of course, is pi times the diameter. So here, real quick, I'm gonna take 12.25 times pi, and I get uh, 38. 4, 8, 5 inches. Now, uh, you know, from a fractional standpoint, uh, 485 really is the equivalent of, say, 38 and, um, let's see, we got, and, see, 31, 64, no, yes, 38, and 3164. So let's see, 31 divided by 64 is 0 .8, 0.484. Yeah, so that's not too far off. Uh, 48, so 0.485 decimal is equivalent to 3164 in our fraction. Uh, my tape measure uh, is only going into a 32nd of an inch. So we're going to basically kind of just round up here for sake of simplicity and we're going to say 38 and a half inches and we'll see how close we come. So I've marked off uh, this so I'm going to put that mark on zero and then we're going to see just exactly how close I come to 38. So here we go. So I got that set on zero. We're going to roll this out. Assuming, of course, that I can roll this without it slipping at all. And this should come out pretty close to 38 and a half inches when we get down to the mark. Hey, look at that. Where are we at? We're just right about 38. We're a little over 38 and 5 eighths from where I started. So that shows you how... Uh, rotational motion or a diameter can be turned into uh, linear motion and 